the entrance antiphon. <clears throat> the good shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews together with their leaders to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to Lycanian, cities of Lystra and Derbe, and to the surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man lame from birth who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lycanian, the gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priests of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates. For he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd shouting, men, why are you doing this? We are the same nature as you human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet in bestowing in goodness, he did not leave himself without witness, for he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and filled you with nourishment and gladness of your hearts. Even with these words, they sacrificed restraint, they, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give glory. Not, not to us, us, O Lord, Lord but to your Lord, name give, give glory. glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to you, <clears throat> but to your name give the glory. <clears throat> Our God is in heaven, what, whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Alleluia, 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 
The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Even with these words, even with these words, they scarcely restrain the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. It is really hard to break habits once they have been um, instilled in us. Um, for these people of these, these Gentiles uh, who worship Zeus and Hermes, it's really hard for them to understand the one true God, and especially at the first meeting. They've seen a, an amazing healing take place that, um, that hasn't been seen probably before. Paul healing this, this crippled man. And so immediately they, they appeal to their own religious belief system, which was Zeus and Hermes and Hera and all those, all those gods. They're not at fault because they, this is what they know. And this is why Jesus sends his apostles out to spread the good news. Because all over the world, people have their religion. They have their, their specific beliefs, which is good in itself. We're, we're made spiritual beings by, by God. We're made to worship. We, we're, we have reason and we can intellectually reason that we're not God. We didn't just always exist. We came from somewhere. We are creatures. And so there are uh, beings, there are um, entities that are above us uh, because in the animal kingdom, we're above the animals in many ways. So just by our reason, we can reason to uh, a deity, a God, and therefore religion takes hold. But it's really hard to break these things if they're not true. And again, this is why Jesus has come, to show the world the one true living God. Now these people have an, even have an idea of a one true God in Zeus, and the fact that he's the head of the gods. There's, he's like the king of the gods in their religion. Uh, which is, I mean, there's, some, there's threads of truth in that. There's one true God, and, and they, they believe it to be to be Zeus, and of course Zeus came from Kronos and all that, if you know the, uh, the mythology, but it takes a while. It takes a while to get to know the Lord. It takes a while to understand who he is. And the Lord knows this, thank goodness. We saw this in yesterday's, in yesterday's um, gospel where Philip says, just show us the Father, Lord, and, and then that'll be enough. And Jesus says, have I been with you so long that you still don't know me? 
If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Even the people who knew Jesus the best didn't understand him. So in your own faith, if you're thinking, I don't, I don't quite get all this. I don't understand God the Father. I don't understand the Holy Spirit. I don't understand Jesus. I don't understand the Immaculate Conception of Mary and any church teaching. It's okay. It takes a, it takes a lifetime and even beyond that to learn. One theologian, theologian says that heaven is always getting closer and closer to God forever because we'll never exhaust that. Uh, each moment we understand God more and more and more forever. And because he's infinite and beyond, we'll never reach that. But we do have to put our effort in. We have to pray. We have to ask the Lord, Lord, I don't quite understand this. This doesn't line up for me. Teach me. Give me faith. Help me to, help me to see the truth. The truth is there. As I've said before, we all say the same thing when we die. We're all going to say the same thing, but in a different way. We're going to say, oh, Jesus, it's you. Right? For us believers, we're going to say it with excitement. Jesus, it's you. Uh, for people who are on the fence, they're going to say, oh, it, it is you. Okay. And then people who are in trouble will say, oh, no, it's you. But we're all going to say the same thing. And we're all going to say, you're much different than I imagined you to be. Because none of us know him completely. So in, your, in those gaps of knowledge, in those gaps of understanding, it's okay. This is why he sends the Holy Spirit to give one of the gifts, the gift of understanding. And if you're struggling in, with that now, pray for that gift as we approach Pentecost. Let us now offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father, who always hears the cries of his children. To our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Lucas, Bishop Conley, Bishop Hannafeld, and all of our bishops, priests, and deacons throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit grant them the strength to proclaim the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may find ways to both preach the word and serve our neighbor, especially during this time of separation and crisis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected leaders, that they may serve with wisdom, compassion, and humility all the people in their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater respect for all life, from conception until natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are on the front lines of this pandemic, especially our health care workers and first responders, may God continue to protect them and keep them in good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us, gathered in our homes or wherever we are listening or watching this Mass, that we may find comfort in the Lord when our hearts are troubled and extend that comfort to others whose hearts are also troubled. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, may the risen Christ visit them with healing power and new hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, may they live forever with Christ in the glory of his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, you are truly the giver of all good gifts. We, your beloved sons and daughters, offer our prayers to you in confidence. For we offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Masses today are being offered for the repose of the soul of Karen L. Page and the repose of the souls of Fern and Joe DeLand. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and, went, and went, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the 
Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. At this time, we unite our voices in prayer with our brothers and sisters who are unable to receive the Eucharist today. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, Go forth. The Mass is in Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the root of souls. 